All right, so since I'm one-handed, can't really do much, back to the movie theater, and we are coming to see Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is what it's called. So uh, let's go see how this thing is. But Sandy, do you think it's gonna be good? Yeah, I heard it was good. Yeah? On the internet. Yeah, you are saying it's good. So I was, I thought the last one was good, but I, I don't give too much points to this stuff because it's animated. I feel like you could do so much. It's just a cartoon to me. But I know people look at it like, what? It's still the best Spider-Man movie. I'm like, eh. So uh, I'm just looking to enjoy a good cartoon, personally. <laughs> All right, guys. The funny thing is this is going to be a pretty quick one because, honestly, this movie was epic. This movie was the stuff that dreams are made of. And I know some people who said that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was their favorite Spider-Man movie. And I remember saying, well, you can't say that because it's animated. And so that shouldn't get the same umph as a live action movie. See, I've always figured that what we want to see as comic book and cartoon fans is for live action movies to be able to do what we see in the pages of a comic book or our cartoons. However, live action is getting really good, but it's kind of cheating when you have a cartoon because it could do things you just can't do on live action and get away with it and make it look like it's actually real. So, with all that being said, I thought Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was a good Spider-Man movie, but I never gave it that much credit. I thought it was a little silly with Spider-Pig and blah, blah, blah. But we fast forward now to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, and wow. Like, let's just get into the story. The story was epic. And remember, guys, this is spoiler free, but the story was epic. They took what you knew and loved from the last movie and just added on top of it with the character Miles and everything you know about a whole Spider-Verse and just blew my mind. There was nothing about the story that I didn't like. The parts that was silly or funny, they made perfect sense. They hit the nail on the head where they were supposed to. Personally, personally, I wish I could do a jump spin and back kick because the story would have got that. Uh, maybe I could do a spin and back kick. <sighs> All right, uh, that's going to be good enough. Expectations. So, um, I usually say if it met my expectations or has exceeded my expectations, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse blew my expectations out the water. See, the last one was pretty decent. I thought it was good. And I thought no way would I go to this movie and leave being as enthusiastic and loving this movie the way I did. But this movie, again, took everything I watched about the last one and just added to it and just blew it out the water. So personally, it exceeded my expectations. And for that, Again, I can't do a jump spin and back kick, but it's going to get a spin and back kick. Entertainment is going to be next. And honestly, guys, this is where most movies shine for me. I'm a popcorn guy. Uh, I just like to sit there, eat popcorn, and watch explosions and actions. You don't really have to hit me so hard with story, um, but this did hit you hard with story. And on top of that, it hit you hard with action. The animation was great. The characters in the movie, like, they took so many different Spider-Mans from, like, every facet of Spider-Man that I personally know and put it in this movie. And that alone was super entertaining. The story of the different characters and the mom and the dad and everything you know about Spider-Man, not even Miles Morales, but just about Peter Parker's Spider-Man, they took all of that and just wrapped it together in a really nice web. See what I did there? And honestly, I was blown away Truly blown away. So for me, the entertainment was nothing less than epic. And I wish I could do a jump spin and back kick. But if I did one and fell, uh, that wouldn't be good. So it will get the spinning back kick. 
So at the end of the day, if I had to give it a zero to 10 or one to 10, should I say, honestly, it's really hard. Like I want to give this a 10 out of 10, but I believe that a movie should have a good beginning, a good hero, a good villain, and a great climactic clash, AKA a really good ending. So for me, I guess saying all that I just said, I have no choice but to give this a nine. I want to give it a 10, but the ending, which made sense, but the ending, I just wish it could have been something else, but I get why it was what it was. It made sense, but if they was able to put a little bow on it, for me, I would have been like, this was 10 out of 10, so it's going to get a 9 out of 10, which is still absolutely ridiculously epic. This movie, guys, you have to see it. If you're a Spider-Man fan, there's no way you can't see this movie. And if you're into comic books, there's no way you can't see this movie. And if you're into Marvel or Sony or whatever you know about anything animation, there's no way you can't see this movie. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you do one simple thing. Subscribe to the most epic channel on YouTube for live streams every week, daily videos. Subscribe. If you reach this far into the video, hit that like button. And the second thing I would like you to do is just go to my homepage and scroll down. That's all I want you to do. You'll see all the different type of content that I make. I put everything perfectly there from reviews, the vlogins, the, you'll see what I'm saying. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much. This video definitely was epic. Cause I'm a cowboy. <laughs> oh man. And with that being said, and I am a knows. I'll make you famous. Because I'm a cowboy! Oh, man! And now, your mama knows!